Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. I did a little bit of recording with my new sketchbooks that I have ordered and then haven't done that much. I've been working on the commissions so thought I would go through all of the sketches that I managed to do in September because I actually have managed to do quite a few. Watered and tidied up my plants this morning and let's get into the sketchbooks. Hello, this morning I have been putting some cards together to take along two penny pieces and to the Chantry in Morpeth. I was going to try and get there for 10 o'clock this morning but it took me so long to kind of package up the cards that I needed. Decided to have a cuppa first and it gave me time to be in to collect my parcel that's been delivered after getting the wrong size Royal Talents sketchbook and loving it so much I decided <laughs> to see if I could find the, the correct size at a decent price. So I did, not on the same website though because they only had like the square ones and the um, and those mini ones. The square one is slightly smaller than the square one that I've got. So I did find them slightly reduced on another site. And I got, I got the square one. <laughs> so that is not actually that much different from that one that I've got. But it will lay flat. I got the A5 one, yay! And I also decided that I needed, ooh, this is different. I also decided that I needed another one of these because I've only got a couple of pages left in here and I do like this because it is watercolour paper and I've had an A5 upright one which I used as a travel sketch book. I, I do like the square one here but I don't think I could find the square one. So I think this is the same. Um, oh it's slightly more textured so I, get, I got an A5 uh, landscape one instead. So I'm going to try that one out. They didn't have any purple and it's actually different, a different um, coating to it. So let's have a look. Ah, now even though I, I put in it was Cache, Dela and Rowney, it's actually, I think it is more watercolour paper and it's slightly got a slight tinge, um, like a slight creaminess to it and a slight, you probably can't see that, a slight different texture to it but um, that would be good. I mean I, I probably could have just bought um, a watercolour sketchbook with, with like thick papers in without the hardback but it is quite handy to have that to be sturdy because sometimes I am painting when I'm like I'm holding it up. Oh, but let's open these two and see, and see. The other thing that I liked about this, that I didn't say it was the colour of the pages. I do like the kind of ivory colour. But yes, that lays flat. Fabulous. And the little one. I think I'm going to love this one as well because it, it's, it's nice and little. And, and I do like the square format. So yes, again, that is lovely. Oh, I just need to do lots of sketching now. And then I need to turn those sketches into finished pieces. So I better get on to the Chantry and Penny pieces to drop these off because I do have the, um, the commission to finish and I did want to work on that this afternoon. So um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I get on with all my sketchbooks.
this sketch was an idea based from the photograph that people took of the rainbow over Windsor Castle when the Queen died. And because I'm not a portrait painter, I don't really paint people, I didn't want to mess up <laughs> painting the Queen as like a tribute, or, even though there were some gorgeous kind of portraits uh, taken of her that I could use. I decided to um, try this out and I did a couple of iterations and finally ended up with a painting that I liked. These are all the sketches in my 14 by 14 C white sketchbook. This was a photograph that I took from the uh, bedroom window where I'm staying at my brother's. I've written a note here, I don't normally write little notes, but I did find that blue and orange made brown, which was quite an interesting discovery. <laughs> and uh, I added more blue to make the grey but this doesn't do the justice to the sky that this evening the the sky was just gorgeous and the, everything was just bathed in this like orangey light but I really like the colour of the buildings opposite so I had to sketch that while I am here so that will be documented that I was here for this period of time. This one was a recent visit to Wylam, which is along the River Tyne. And this is the signals box for the station, which is kind of behind these trees. But it was a lovely sunny morning. I'm not sure that I convey that in the sketches, that it was actually sunny. But obviously the bright greens hopefully convey that as well. And I do write water rushing warm sun. So I knew that it was sunny from my notes. This is um, a painting of the coffee tree, which is a cafe in Wylam. This one was taken from a photograph. I think I might have shown these in last week's vlog. I still haven't got round to doing the other um, drawings in this, but these were from Crook Hall and Gardens, all the fairies. And I'm hoping to make some kind of painting or illustration from these with like all the ivy growing up trees and things. This is the only sketch I've done this month in my larger De La Rowney mixed media book. I know I said it was watercolour paper, but it is actually mixed media. This is looking across to the pumping station from the top of the specials at Prudder. So this is Wylam. Uh, when I was in Wylam, I did, actually did a walk that went along there and I was like, oh, that's the back of the pumping station. <laughs> um, I think I might want to redo this because the greens are very saturated for me and I'm not sure that I like the colours of the greens compared with say other sketches where they're kind of more muted. I don't know I might do that on the on the opposite page but I'll see. This is a view that I would quite like to make into a card I think I might just have to paint it again. Moving into the small Hannah Muller A6 sketchbook you saw this last week this is Durham Cathedral from Crook Hall and uh, just a quick line drawing, uh, not make, not doing any details in the trees here. I've started doing that on some of them and I quite like it, like just keep the details to the main focus. I have started in the sketchbooks putting I belong to Gillian Cross Art in here and I will put contact details on when I am in my home uh, just in case it gets lost. I mean I've never lost a sketchbook but I saw another artist do this so I thought actually maybe that's quite a good idea because uh, I, I don't have anything in here. I don't even sign them, the sketches, so I don't have anything in here if it does get lost to say who it belongs to. But this is my <laughs> mistakenly ordered little 9 by 14 Royal Talons and I've done swatches in here, so coloured pencil swatches and greens and brown, uh, greens and greys. So this is the first one. I think I mentioned that I was going to try and just do pencil and then watercolour because uh, I wanted to work slightly differently from doing the pen and then the watercolour. So this was Havana Nature Reserve on a walk with my son. This was watercolour and then coloured pencil details put over the top taken from a photograph of Newcastle, like the high level bridge between the uh, two buildings. I didn't like how washy it was with just the watercolour and uh, putting the details in really brought it alive for me so I really love that now. 
The second one, I think I spoke about it in last week's vlog, so I won't spend too much time. It was the, oh, they, they, they called this, um, there was like a, a, a gateway, uh, they called this the fun gate. Um, yeah. <laughs> the tree didn't look quite like this. I kind of like put elements of it because that bit was like a lot further up. So I just kind of made it up, but you don't know that because you didn't see it. I was really pleased with the delicacy of this one. Again, you saw that in last week's vlog, the ivy on the fence. Then I had given my son a lift to his drumming lesson at, at Windows in the Central Arcade and I sat at a window <laughs> listening to him drumming and started to sketch the buildings on, now I think it's um, the corner of Granger Street and Nelson Street, but this is as far as I got in the kind of 20 minutes, half an hour. And I decided just to leave it like that. I have taken a photograph of it so I can come back to it, but I really quite like the idea that that's the time I had, that's what I got done, and I'm just gonna leave it like that in my sketchbook. That concludes the September roundup of sketches. I hope you enjoyed it. I included a couple that I actually did in October, so hopefully I've edited those out. <laughs> uh, I did 12 sketches, which is pretty good. I'll start including the four sketches that I did for the commission, because obviously I can't show those yet. Well, oh, actually she has seen them, but I'll do that all in one video. I think that's probably best. Um, looking back on the Windsor Castle sketch, um, I initially painted this from the sketch and I didn't like it at all but I was doing it at the Mucky Duck. The lighting wasn't good, I was kind of not feeling it so I decided to scrap that one and try again and I much prefer this one. It just shows you if, you, if you're not happy just start again and it's fine and what I'll do is I've already used this to um, paint the back of like to, to use uh, for this drying when I painted the back of it <laughs> painted it with acrylics and put some of my stickers on so it will get used again and I can even use the back for um, swatches and things hopefully with all of my new gorgeous sketchbooks I will continue the trend I know 12 to some people isn't very much but I'm hoping to work 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 push out sketches and make paintings and uh, and then when I've made the paintings I'm hoping to photograph them and actually put them on the website for sale <laughs> or at least photograph them so I have got the digital file so I can make them into cards as and when I need. That brings me to a question that I want to put out on Twitter it's when I'm selling a painting in a shop I will get it mounted so it looks lovely but I'm wondering if the, say the Shafto Crags one that I've done and um, I don't know if I want to sell the Windsor Castle one but like making things like that available online unmounted um, I don't know whether people are um, averse to that or whether they would prefer to do that because it's easier to post but uh, yeah, I, once I've produced the work I need to get it out there for sale. Going to try out these oil pastel sticks that my dad gave me. He was doing a bit of a clear out and found these. We have no idea whether they are still viable, whether you can use them, but they are, um, look at that, it says it's blue, teal blue. They are oil pastel, uh, oil paint. So even if they're a long, like even if they're old, I guess they might actually still work. So let's give it a go. Hmm. Oh, actually, no. Oh, maybe it just needed a bit of. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like lipstick. <laughs> Well, that's put colour on the page. And it's shiny like lipstick, that's really weird. Gold. I think it needs to kind of get the hardness off the outside first. 
which maybe that's not going to work as well. That seems to not be not be working quite as well. And then the teal blue. That are already refined. <laughs> but maybe I can use them for something. The red is definitely the best one. Hmm. I've added that random clip as well because I found it when I uploaded um, the video <laughs> to edit this morning of the oil pastels so yeah that was a bit random in the middle but hey ho you've seen it I might use them I might not I've put them away I haven't used them uh, since I did that little clip but if you've enjoyed the video please leave a like and consider subscribing and I shall see you next week bye